Hello, it's Gary Fox here again, and uh, we're going to talk about the uh, popsicle crane a little more. As you can see, I've built the uh, the tower that I'm going to test. I got a little bit more building to do. Part of what I'm doing right now is, uh, as I build it, go ahead and squeeze it in different parts, and. Uh, you see right up here as I squeeze this, it gets uh, it's got a little bow in right there. So I, I got to do a little bit more bracing, a couple horizontal pieces. Uh, when I threw it together, I did a very good job as far as building these uh, these main columns. And on the website, I'll show you how I did that. But I did a pretty lousy job on making the whole thing square. Uh, so I got a little bit more thinking about how to do when I get to a real one. And I doubt very much if, well, it's kind of surprised me on how much I think it's the thing, how strong it will be. Uh, we'll find out later today after I glue those extra pieces on. Also, what I found out as I'm gluing this thing, you see there is one piece here that's already broke loose. And I see if I can find it real quick. Um, well, <laughs> figures you can't find it once you uh, decide you're going to talk about it. But there is, yeah, right here, this piece. It's come loose. Uh, came unglued. I'm going to try to re-glue that. But that is one of them that's on the sides of these uh, popsicle sticks. And uh, that may end up being a weak point that something I'm still going to have to figure out. So anyhow, that's the status of the, uh, the tower that's going to eventually become the boom. I'm thinking that when I uh, get around to doing this for the real one, I'm probably going to try to make it a little smaller. Uh, I want a full popsicle width across. As you can see, alignment was not very good. This side took a full popsicle stick. That one was quite a bit hanging over. And uh, I did as well as I could do on checking the uh, squareness of it. We may talk in boring detail about that. Anyhow, I'm thinking more like if I go a 45 degree angle to do one popsicle stick, that I get this at 0 .707 of a popsicle stick with. Uh, but, uh, I think that may end up being a better option. Basically what I did was is I braced these. I went 45 degree angle approximately. Is that a, a good angle? I don't know. Uh, that means that it trying to make it look like a regular crane boom. Um, and that seems to be about what the angle is that they use. Um, that may or may not be what makes sense. Um, we will find out as we start getting into testing. Some of the other tests that I'm going to do. Uh, this is the original popsicle stick that was a two by one. Sections that are too wide and sections that are only one popsicle wide. That's the one that I had in the previous video where it's broken this one section. I am gluing couple of popsicle sticks to this one. One that I put right in the middle and uh, it's currently the glue's drying. It should be dry by now. And then one that I glued to the side. Over here I did the same thing but I did it to the uh, small side. And uh, I'm going to test those by pulling them sideways and find out uh, how much force they can actually handle. So there'll be two tests of this one because uh, that's basically the same joint for those two. And then there'll be one of each of these. It's not enough for a statistical test, but that's enough to kind of give us an idea of how strong it is. So that's what we got to look forward to. There will be, uh, I'll try to add the test to the actual end of this video. Okay, this is the uh, test fixture I'm setting up. 
I got my tower sitting there. There is a uh, eye bolt sitting in that board that's going to sit on top of the tower. It goes down through a hole in the uh, bottom of the table there. And then below that, I've got a fish scale down there from 0 to 50 pounds. And uh, I'll be pulling on that fish scale, and we'll see at the point where it breaks. Uh, so I'll be sitting down underneath. I'm going to try to have the camera looking at the actual tower so I can find out what broke also. The pounds pool as I get there. One, two, wait a minute. Need the wrong scale. Starting all over. Yeah, so we get this thing lined up. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. I can't read the scale. I have to redo this next time. Okay, 15. And what broke? I think my string did. Wow. Well, we know 50 pound test ain't going to get it. Okay, what I've done now is hang 20 pounds of weight on it besides what I pull. I double check my scale and it's reading it pretty accurate. It's just a little bit high. We'll go ahead and start pulling down some more. I'm at 30. What the heck popped? 30. 40. 45. That's 50 pounds pull. Sucker passed the test. So I know I ain't going to pull no more than 50. <laughs> I am surprised. I am surprised. amazing. I'll see if I can come up some way of testing it even more because I was really surprised it made it. <laughs>